Hey guys and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. This week's ROM hack recommendation is a NES game, a NES ROM hack of The Legend of Zelda, the original Legend of Zelda game. So this hack has been around for some time. Uh, I never checked it out because my Zelda journey began on the SNES with uh, A Link to the Past. Now I dabbled with the original ones, uh, it was my friend that really liked them, he played them a lot but whenever we got together we ended up playing like Mario Brothers and like the Mega Man games along with some uh, two-player games like how i think it was how wrestling or fire pro wrestling but this one's really really good i had to try it out it's a roguelike of zelda uh, it's randomized and honestly like once i started playing it i could not stop playing it but let's go over to the capture card and uh, have a little uh, have a little bit of a look uh, at this game So guys, like I always say, enjoy this game wherever you want to enjoy this game. You can play this on your original NES if you still have it. I'm really enjoying this on the Mister. Uh, I played it on the Analog Pocket, but for me this time around, uh, as much as I recommend games on the Analog Pocket and to play them, I preferred playing this and I had better success with this uh, on the actual Mister. I don't know, I just found this one for me worked better on a bigger screen, even though I am primarily a handheld gamer. That is where I do most of my gaming. Um, so talking a little bit about this game this is the legend of zelda the ancient dungeon uh, as mentioned so this is a roguelike game and and or yeah roguelike game like uh, the way hades which is a popular one that that released recently and dead cells dead cells is something i enjoyed i am not always the biggest fan of roguelike games uh, but i do really enjoy this one uh, it's good the way it plays it's completely randomized you kind of go through the rooms you get power-ups like i've just kind of got bombs there there's other power-ups you get as well. I've got like a, a one later on. We'll see that on video. But it's really good because when you uh, when you finish your run and you get the ending screen, it kind of gives you a timer of how long you lasted and what items you got. And that way you can actually see the items that you were missing. <laughs> you can see I didn't really get much there at all. Uh, but this just makes you want to dive straight back in. You die and you're like, okay, here I am. I'm going again. And it's got options in there. It's got options for you to kind of create your own seed and, and customize um kind of customize the game but what you can do is you can even as randomized you can give yourself the same random one again and again if you want to uh, compete in in speed uh speed races uh, with with uh, with one another if that's your kind of thing uh, like like i said my zelda journey began with a link to the past but this it plays really really well honestly like some of these rom hacks it's almost as if if nintendo would release this themselves uh, as i don't know something on the switch as an arranged version of the original zelda uh, it plays really really nicely now one thing that i had issues with as i said uh, link to the past was my my first one the attack in this the sword just goes straight ahead instead of that kind of horizontal swipe that you get in the other zelda games or the zelda games that i'm used to um, it took me a little bit of getting used to but that was all good now like you've got like i just got the time power up there where everyone stops so there are things that kind of make your gameplay experience uh, easier now you always kind of want to be at full, full health not just because of the life points but your uh, your your uh, your master sword that you have i presume it's the master sword fires that beam of light so you get a projectile attack as well um yeah the game's a lot of fun and as soon as you die you just want to restart again um now as well as like the normal enemies and as you're progressing through some of the rooms becoming more more and more difficult as you go along there are boss fights and again having full energy if you don't have a power up having a sword firing out projectiles is a big advantage and as you can see this boss fight here i've done it quite easily really glad like this is more a horizontal than a vertical one because as you, as you can see you've definitely got more horizontal space than vertical uh, now the fairies are in there that give you the full health you defeat the boss you get like an extra heart which obviously makes your run slightly uh, well it gives you more health points because the enemies are getting uh, stronger faster there's more of them in the room like honestly this game's really really good I, ca I cannot recommend this rom hack enough it's just it's just fun now i had difficulty with uh this boss because uh i, I kind of tried maybe maybe i should have been a bit more patient but i went in there then i thought let me attack it from below but obviously there's not enough space there and once i lost my projectile attack because of uh, losing some health uh it made the boss fight a whole lot more 
difficult but again as soon as you die you get a rundown of what you've done how long you lasted how many rooms uh you made it through but then you just want to hit start and uh go to the beginning and and start again um i found myself I, I, initially when i played this i kind of wanted to play it for maybe 20 minutes half an hour i actually ended up playing this for like well over an hour really really enjoyed it i started off on uh the analog pocket uh, i then moved on uh to my mister and then later on i carried on uh on my android device which is uh the iron odin light that's the one that i got so this is really good now and everything works like a dream. I thought, okay, I've got bombs and sword. How do I change my weapon? I press select, and as soon as I press select, bang! I got this uh, this attack. Now I can't I can't tell you if these power ups are from the original Zelda game because I don't know the original Zelda game well enough. Um, I, it, but all I can tell you is I had a blast playing it. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of like the rogue, the 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 rogue, the rogue light, or whatever it's called, uh, the rogue kind of genre. I like my games more structured so I always prefer Castlevania to like games like Dead Cells I like a story I like a structure um, but I really really enjoyed this it's easy just to pick up and play and honestly when you die you just want to play it again just to do another run and to see if you can kind of beat it and get get further really really thoroughly enjoyed this game the only regret i had about this game is i don't know why i didn't play it sooner as always i will leave uh, a link to the rom hack files so you can convert your original zelda rom into this um but it's really really good and honestly i can't recommend this enough but guys um that's really it this is the end of the video this is the rom hack recommendation for this week if you enjoy the content then uh yeah, if you're not already, already subscribed to the channel, channel, then a subscription and a like is super appreciated. But uh, either way, guys, I will see you in the next video. Uh, Pixel, Cherry, Ninja, out.